All this veteran soldier wanted was to spend the night with his wife at a restaurant. However, five young men kept disturbing his moment, and he couldn't help but shed tears. The reason for this will leave you reaching for the tissues. On one special evening, Lou Zedoff, a 74-year-old veteran, decided to create a memorable moment with his family. He suggested going to their favorite nearby restaurant, Cracker Barrel, as he was eagerly looking forward to spending a wonderful evening with his wife, Annette. When they arrived at Cracker Barrel, they found a table, placed their order, and settled in, awaiting their delicious meal. Despite being retired, Lou's sharp observation skills, honed from his years of service, were still intact. He couldn't help but notice five young men sitting nearby. There was something peculiar about them, perhaps their hairstyles or demeanor, that caught Lou's attention. Curiosity piqued, Lou decided to keep an eye on them as he anticipated a pleasant evening with Annette. As they waited for their food, Lou discreetly observed the gang of young men. He noticed them exchanging glances and whispers, their behavior seeming somewhat suspicious. Lou's instincts warned him that something might be amiss, yet he remained calm, not wanting to alarm his wife or disrupt their outing. Annette, unaware of Lou's observations, engaged in light conversation. Lou tried to focus on the conversation, but his attention kept drifting back to the group of young men. He couldn't shake the feeling that there was more to them than met the eye. Lou always wore a cap adorned with inscriptions that proudly proclaimed his status as a U.S. Navy veteran who served in the Vietnam War. Unbeknownst to him, this cap was a significant factor that caught the attention of the five young men he had been discreetly observing. To them, Lou was more than just an elderly gentleman enjoying dinner with his wife. To them, Lou was more than just an elderly gentleman enjoying dinner with his wife. He was a living symbol of valor and resilience, a veteran who had survived the harrowing experiences of the Vietnam War. During his service in the Navy from 1959 to 1963, Lou, an E-5, Petty Officer Second Class, served on the aircraft carrier USS Coral Sea in 1961 and 62. Despite his official designation as a parachute rigger, Lou's duties extended beyond as he served as a plane captain on the carrier. His responsibility spanned from pre-flight checks to ensuring the safe return of the aircraft to the ship. Lou carried out his duties diligently and with unwavering devotion, earning him respect among his fellow servicemen. After returning home from his service, he was warmly welcomed by his family, who rejoiced at his safe return. The reunion with his wife Annette was a moment filled with joy and gratitude after years of separation. Lou had found his passion in serving and protecting others, a calling he couldn't ignore even after leaving the military. With his wealth of experience, he embarked on a new career path as a police officer, dedicating 32 years to keeping criminals off the streets and ensuring the safety of his community. As a detective in the 1970s, Lou tackled numerous cases, displaying sharp investigative skills and unwavering determination. Later, he transitioned to court security with the U.S. Marshal Service, where he continued to uphold the law with integrity and professionalism until his retirement in 1996. Now, in his retirement years, Lou cherished spending more time with his family and his beloved wife Annette, relishing in the simple pleasures of life. Proudly donning his veteran cap, Lou remained oblivious to the admiration it garnered from the five young men nearby. To them, his cap symbolized bravery and sacrifice, qualities they respected and revered. However, the ex-soldier was also painfully aware of the fact that many young people found enjoyment in mocking older gentlemen who wore clothes that identified them as veterans. And he was afraid that the five young men at the restaurant were about to make fun of him in front of everybody. Little did Lou know, the events unfolding in the restaurant were about to take a shocking and unexpected turn. Propelled by the significance of his veteran status and the unforeseen consequences it would bring, when the waiter brought their orders to the table, Lou maintained a calm demeanor, but continued to observe the young men with a watchful eye. He was ready for whatever they might be planning. With the corner of his eye, he noticed them still casting glances in his direction, 
keeping him on edge. As they began to enjoy their meal, Lu noticed one of the young men rising from his seat and heading towards their table. The veteran tensed, prepared for any potential disruption. Standing up abruptly, he left his meal untouched, leaving his wife Annette puzzled by the sudden interruption to their dinner. Uncertain of the young man's intentions, Lu watched intently as he approached. When the young man extended his hand, Lu braced himself, expecting the worst. However, to his surprise, all the young man wanted to do was offer him a handshake. Lu's initial paranoia melted away as he accepted the gesture, taken aback by the unexpected display of gratitude. As he shook the young man's hand, Lu couldn't help but feel touched by the genuine appreciation for his service to the country. It was rare for strangers to approach and thank him for his sacrifices as a veteran soldier, and the gesture warmed his heart. Lou and Annette exchanged curious glances, chuckling at the unexpected turn of events, before returning to their meal. Their moment of peace was interrupted again when the remaining four young men approached their table. Once more, Lou stood up, leaving his meal behind, with Annette watching with curiosity. Once again, instead of tension, they were met with overwhelming emotions as each of the young men exchanged handshakes with Lou. In that moment, Lou could see the respect shining in their eyes and hear it in their voices. He realized these weren't fellow military comrades drawn to him by his veteran status. Their low haircuts and the solemn way they carried themselves confirmed his suspicions. It was a special moment for Lou, a touching reminder of the bonds forged through service and sacrifice and he felt a deep sense of pride and camaraderie in their shared experience as servicemen. After the brief but warm exchange with the young men, Lou thought the encounter was over as they returned to their seats. He wished them well in their service as young Marines before sitting back down, feeling a sense of pride in their shared bond of military service. Lou and Annette exchanged smiles, basking in the warmth of the moment as they returned to their meal feeling uplifted by the show of respect from the young men. As they signaled the waiter to bring the bill, Lou and Annette had no idea that more surprises awaited them from the young men. When the waiter approached with an enticing smile, they couldn't help but notice the joy in his eyes, perhaps influenced by the unexpected display of respect from the Marines. However, beneath his smile lay more surprises waiting to unfold. With a flourish, the waiter handed the bill to Lou exclaiming that it was their lucky day. They were taken aback as he revealed that the young men had generously paid for their meal. Annette gasped in surprise, overwhelmed by the kindness of the gesture. It was clear that the young men's respect for her husband went beyond mere words. They had demonstrated it through their actions, settling the bill as a token of their admiration. Lou's heart swelled with emotion as he glanced at the bill. One of the Marines had written Semper Fi across the top, with an Ura at the bottom. It was a heartfelt gesture, a symbol of the camaraderie and brotherhood shared among servicemen. The simple word spoke volumes, expressing gratitude and solidarity in a way that touched Lou deeply. Overwhelmed by the generosity of the young men, Lou and Annette shared a moment of quiet reflection. The gesture had not only brightened their evening, but also reaffirmed Lou's sense of pride in his service to his country. Overwhelmed by the young men's generosity, Lou knew he couldn't accept their offer to pay for his meal. He understood the financial strain it could impose on them, especially considering their likely modest incomes as young Marines. Quickly explaining his concerns to Annette, they both agreed that accepting the gesture would be unfair to the young men. Encouraged by Annette's support, Lou approached the table where the young men were seated, wearing a warm smile. He spread his arms across two of them, insisting that they didn't need to pay for his meal. Grateful for their show of respect, he explained that their greeting had already meant a lot to him, and he couldn't accept their offer, knowing it would be a financial burden for them. Despite Lou's protests, the young men remained resolute expressing that paying for his meal was the least they could do to show their admiration and appreciation for his service. They insisted that it was a small gesture compared to the sacrifices he had made for his country. Lou was moved by their sincerity and the depth of their respect for him. Reluctantly, he returned to his seat, grateful for the camaraderie and bond shared with his fellow servicemen. 
As Lou explained the situation to Annette, she too was overcome with emotion. She felt a swell of pride knowing that her husband was held in such high regard by these young men. She loved him regardless of his veteran status, but she was glad that they recognized the huge sacrifice his chosen career had required of their family. Their actions had turned an ordinary evening into something truly special, leaving a lasting impression on both Lou and Annette. They shared a moment of gratitude for the unexpected kindness they had experienced and felt blessed to have encountered such genuine generosity from a group of young Marines. In that special moment at that restaurant, Lou's mind raced back to his early days in the service, recalling a particular encounter that had left a lasting impression on him. After returning from the Vietnam War, Lou had gone grocery shopping, only to encounter an older man who seemed lost and disoriented as he navigated the aisles. Lou noticed the man's dog tags and recognized him as a fellow military veteran. Approaching the man with reverence, Lou noticed the veteran's cap, adorned with symbols of his service in World War II. In a show of respect, Lou stood at attention and saluted the older man, who was taken aback by the gesture. Abandoning his own grocery shopping, Lou offered his assistance to the veteran, guiding him through the store and helping him select the items he needed. As they walked through the aisles together, the veteran expressed his gratitude to Lou, sharing stories of his experiences in the military. He revealed that he had served in World War II and expressed his joy at seeing a younger comrade return home safely from Vietnam. Together, they shared a bond of mutual respect, forged through their shared experiences as military men. Lou assisted the veteran in packing his groceries for checkout and even offered to pay for them as a gesture of gratitude. However, the veteran kindly refused, insisting that Lou's act of kindness and companionship was more than enough. He explained that the camaraderie they shared as fellow servicemen was the greatest reward, transcending any material gestures of appreciation. Reflecting on this encounter, Lou felt a surge of emotions wash over him. He realized that now, in his later years, he was in the same position as the older veteran he had helped all those years ago. Just as he had shown respect and kindness to the older generation of veterans, now the young Marines were extending the same gestures of respect and gratitude towards him. He understood the significance of these acts of kindness and respect, knowing that they spoke volumes of the enduring bonds of brotherhood and camaraderie shared among military men, regardless of age or era. As he returned to his seat, Lou couldn't help but feel a profound sense of connection to his fellow servicemen past and present. The memories of his own experience in the military, coupled with the recent gestures of respect from the young Marines, filled him with a sense of pride and gratitude. Filled with emotions from the day's events, Lou and Annette finished their meal, knowing that the memories would forever be etched in their hearts. As they prepared to leave, one of the young men from the group went to settle their bills. Unbeknownst to Lou and Annette, who were about to part ways with the other four, Another unexpected and special display of gratitude lay in store for them. Seeing Lou about to leave, the four young men knew they had to show one final display of respect. Lou couldn't contain his emotions as they approached him one last time, extending their arms for handshakes and offering hugs. Despite his military background and tough exterior, Lou found himself overwhelmed by the compassion and respect shown by the young Marines, and tears welled up in his eyes. As the men shook his hand and embraced him, Lou's tears flowed freely, sharing the special moment with his wife, Annette, who was also overcome with emotion. Despite being a civilian, she understood the camaraderie shared among servicemen, and tears streamed down her cheeks as well. Annette reached for a handkerchief, wiping away her tears and offering one to Lou, who hastily wiped his eyes, only for them to fill with tears again. Just as the last of the young men finished settling the bills, he did something unexpected. With the grace and precision of a trained soldier, he composed himself and delivered one of the sharpest salutes Lou had ever seen. The gesture expressed a level of admiration and respect that overwhelmed the veteran even further, bringing tears to his eyes once more. With the salute and final greetings exchanged, the young men turned and left Lou and Annette leaving them both deeply moved by the unexpected display of respect and camaraderie. As they watched the young Marines depart, Lou and Annette were filled with gratitude for the profound impact the encounter had on them. 
As the young Marines left the restaurant, the atmosphere shifted. Other customers, who had been observing the unexpected celebration with Lou and the soldiers, fell silent, their chatter fading into a hush. All eyes were on the veteran, but he didn't feel nervous. Instead, he felt a swell of pride, sensing the admiration radiating from those around him. Some of the other customers had noticed Lou's veteran cap earlier, but it hadn't quite registered until they witnessed the young men's final show of respect. In that moment, it dawned on them the significance of Lou's service and the sacrifices made by soldiers like him. The restaurant, once filled with noise and chatter, was now quiet. However, the silence was soon broken by sudden rounds of applause erupting from the patrons. The applause swelled, filling the air with a sense of appreciation and gratitude. Lou and Annette were taken aback by the unexpected display of applause, feeling deeply touched by the outpouring of support from the other customers. It felt like a spontaneous celebration, honoring Lou's service to the country in a way he never expected. With a sense of humility and gratitude, Lou turned around to wave at everyone, signaling his appreciation for their applause. Arriving home, Lou and Annette talked happily over the unexpected turn of events at the restaurant. The evening had been as shocking as it was special, turning a simple dinner outing into an extraordinary celebration of Lou's dedication and service to the country, courtesy of the young Marines. The actions of the young men had touched Lou's heart so deeply that he felt compelled to uncover their identities, wanting to keep them forever in his heart. As a veteran, he utilized his connections to have other active servicemen look into the identity of the men. Soon, he learned that their names were Kevin Morris, Val Diaz, Eric A. Morales, Victor M. Andrade Gomez, and Elijah Reynolds, all private first class. The actions of the young men, which had moved Lou to tears, held such a special place in his heart that he decided to share his experience with the world through a podcast. Thousands were captivated by his story which served as a testament to the kindness and respect found within the military community. Lou's story highlighted the sacrifices made by veterans like him who risked their lives to protect their country, and it reinforced the importance of honoring and respecting their service. As Lou's podcast gained popularity, it became clear that his story had struck a chord with people from all walks of life. He could tell this from the outpouring of support and gratitude he received from listeners around the world in the weeks following his podcast release. His story had inspired countless individuals to reflect on the sacrifices made by veterans and to show their appreciation in meaningful ways. What a beautiful story of respect, kindness, and gratitude. Do you think veterans deserve special treatment? Have you shown respect and admiration to a veteran before? Share your experiences in the comments section. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.